For today, our focus will be on campus security and personal safety. We want to highlight lessons learned and best practices. And this is our regional video conference, not the first for um, CKL and RJRN, but certainly for us on this topic, it's inaugural and we are making history as we speak. We're making history in terms of being able to connect across the campuses and using a fantastic facility, which is now here one of our rich resources for the Caribbean. We'll see a little bit more about it. As we go through our agenda for today, you will observe that I'll share a little bit and then we'll have our moderator, Captain Robert Finzi Smith, who will take us through the substance of today's proceedings. He's the Director of Safety and Security here at the University of Technology, Jamaica. And in turn, he will um, introduce the other um, panelists. And <coughs> together, by the time we get to discussion, section we'll know a little bit more about who is here across the technology my charge here then is to just welcome you and to just set the context in terms of what this conference means to us the challenges are many we'll um if you can share that slide for me i just go through some of my remarks here thank you the challenges are many they are actual and they are virtual and today, it takes more than a security program to manage risk and provide a safe and secure environment. And we will want to focus on that. It does require state-of-the-art technology, continuous training and expertise, because there are several things we are battling. We have hate crimes, workplace violence, behavioral health issues, drugs, gangs, sexual harassment, concealed weapons, um, rape assault, motor vehicle, theft, but all around us here at the table, I know I'm speaking to uh, job experts, those who have been um, managing the process for us and others who play various support roles. Today we want to look at all of that. I just want to go with you um, some comments from the main stakeholders in terms of our students here on the campus. And I know today we will hear more from the student voice, but I just wanted to share a little bit as we set the context. Um, students here from U University of Technology, Jamaica. I think the security guards need to be equipped with some sort of weapons. Security personnel are cooperative and friendly. Security arrangements are in place. Others who say, we need to increase the presence of security personnel. Yes. They need to see more person. Um, this is not on the, on the PowerPoint, we're just sharing. Others say the age group and gender must be taken into consideration in selection and placement of security guards. Others indicate <clears throat> there is need for increased patrolling um, on campus and easy access to lost and found items. Okay, so just wanted to share what some persons, the expectations of our students so that in our deliberations, we can, um, you know, also cover all all angle so to continue today then our overall objective is on the slide yes is to stimulate the establishment of a community of practice campus security professionals across the region by lever leveraging the caribnet and its national research education networks in providing solutions to the many challenges involved in security and the student and faculty personal safety. So this experience this morning is about having a conversation, being able to use the technology resources that we now have available in the Caribbean to connect us, to communicate, and to continue discussion out of live face-to-face -face session as this is. Just to look at Caribbean, next slide. We have the Caribnet, Caribnet now covering the Caribbean region. And on the next slide, you will see some of the NRNs already in place. In fact, just about all are good morning. Um, on the slide on the left, it means that it covers the Caribbean, what we call Greater Antilles and Lesser Antilles region. That is now in place, the fiber optic 
sisters across the entire Caribbean. And to the right, highlighted with red dots, are the NRANs which are on. Um, <clears throat> and more, well, we have nine. We have Bahamas <coughs> on board with us today, Barbados, Belize, Dominican Republic, um, Jamaica, <coughs> Trinidad and Tobago. Others in the region include Suriname, I think that may be the only one, and the OECS, they have um, an NREN on also. Okay, so next slide. What we want to do is to look at this rich resource. We've seen countries already in place, over 130 institutions connected, and so we have access to over 30,000 persons. And we also have partners in Latin America, USA, Europe, Africa, and Asia. In other words, their um, resource education, research education networks, which are similar to the Caribbean. So beyond the Caribbean, we can continue the discussion on topics like these. So we will press on then, next slide shared about the sites that are connected. So it's now for us to explore. So I will invite Captain Robert Finzi Smith, our Director of Safety and Security here at UTEC, to lead a charge with our pairs and to take us through the rest of the agenda to the discussion point. Thank you very much, one and all.